Hi, this is Rick Sandberg. I'm a senior applications engineer for Hawkridge in our Portland, Oregon office. And in this blog, I'll cover the basics of creating smart components in SOLIDWORKS for SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D users. And while I'm gearing it towards Electrical 3D users, this, use, this information is useful for any user of SOLIDWORKS that wants to speed up assembly creation. For those of you that are not familiar with this functionality, it's a way to associate components and features with a a component that you want to drop into an assembly such as mounting holes and fasteners for this motor and when we set it up as a smart feature it will create those mounting holes and add those fasteners for us automatically great time saver so how do we create a smart component well first we either build our base model that we want to make smart or we download it from the internet like I did with this motor the next thing we need to do is create a defining assembly that helps us define what our features and components are going to be that will be part of the smart component. We then put our base model into the defining assembly, create some features, add some components, and then use the make smart component command to create it as a smart component. So let's give it a try. Your defining assembly can be really very simple. In my case, I got this table with a mounting plate. I'm going to drop my motor into my assembly and I'm going to mate it down to my assembly. It's important that you have it mated down and I could really speed this up by having mate references set so that it creates those mates as I drop it in. Um, but in this case I'm just going to create a couple quick distance mates and now it's locked down it won't move anywhere now what I want to do is create my cuts in the plate for those mounting holes to do that I'm gonna edit this component in the context of the assembly using edit part do a sketch on that face and now I'm going to select edges on my holes and convert those to my sketch entities and when I do that I'm going to now do a cut command maybe do a through all and it will put holes into that plate I'm only going to do the one side just for brevity in this case now what I want to do is add my fasteners in my case I'm going to add toolbox fasteners if you don't have SOLIDWORKS Professional and above or not using the toolbox use whatever fasteners you see fit in this case I'm going to drop in my hex bolt drop it on there it's going to pick an M8 I'm going to pick a length maybe a 55 and now drop in two more quick and easy now let's drop in some washer, washers and some nuts basic plain washer maybe a narrow one I'll drop it right in place pick an M8 drop the other ones in and then do the same thing with nuts basic hex nut style one drop it on that washer pick an M8 drop the other ones in couldn't be faster or easier now I have my holes and my fasteners that I want to set up with that motor as a smart component so all I need to do now is pick the make smart component command which I've customized and put out onto the command manager if you don't have it there you'll find it under the tools menu all the way down towards the end make smart component pick the motor as my component pick the components that I want to use as my smart components to be added with this I'll pick my washers and those nuts and then click on features this will allow me to pick my holes since they were created in one operation it's one click click OK and now my motor has been set up as a smart component you can tell because it's got the lily yellow star on it and if I open this component up it now has a folder at the top of the feature tree called smart feature with an indication of in context references it's got the feature the hole that I cut the components and references faces in the plate that need to take that cut if I want to use this all I need to do is go to an assembly where I want to mount this motor I'll insert the motor into my assembly again do some mating to put it into place 
I'll do a quick coincident in this case move it into place I would want to do my distance mates as well but in this case I'm just going to hit my um, select the component it puts the little yellow box with the star in it click that and then it will ask for those references the faces for the plate that it's going to put those holes into give it that it drops in the holes adds the fasteners bolt washer nut and I've dropped that in in a matter of seconds for those using electrical 3d the next step would be to take this and save it into your folder on your electrical server where you um, store all of your SolidWorks 3D parts. And then head over to SolidWorks Electrical, go to your Library tab, Manufacturer Parts Manager, search on a motor, a manufacturer motor information for that motor that you downloaded, edit the properties, and it's got an input for or a field for 3D part. I click on the browse, go out and find that, hit OK, and it will associate that 3D part with this manufacturer information. Now every time you use that in a project, it shows up in your electrical 3D. Right click, insert, and it'll grab that part and drop it in. Fast and easy. That's a quick overview of the smart component functionality in SOLIDWORKS for electrical 3D users and others. Thanks for tuning in.